Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video, we are going to implement convolution neural network with the help of Google Colab. So I'm going to use Google Colab for this exercise. So let's get started. For today's exercise, we are going to use data set, MNIST data set, which is basically available with the uh, this TensorFlow Keras library. So let's get started with the code. So very first of all, I'm just importing the required libraries, which we are going to use throughout this exercise. And then we have this, uh, using this MNIST, method, uh, MNIST object, I'm just uh, loading the data. This data set is of handwritten digit images. So you can think of that uh, there are zero to nine uh, digits and those are handwritten and we have many images of them and then we are going to build a uh, classifier model which can predict based on the image and it can tell us that this image is of which digit so uh, let's get uh, load the data using this load data method this load data method will give me uh, four matrices x train y train x test y test since this data set is already available with the keras library so this data set is already cleaned and we do not need to do the uh, data pre-processing things with this particular data so now next thing i i, I just can show you that the x train and y train and what is the shape of it so here you can see that this x train image x train uh, matrices data uh, shape is 60000 into 28 into 28 and this is the y train shape and this is the uh, x test shape and this is the uh, y test shape so it means that this training set contains 60k images so this is my training data set and it has 60,000 images and testing set contains 10,000 images. So this is my test and this is my uh, train. And the training input vector is of dimension, this one 60,000 into 28 into 28. And the training output vector is of dimension 60,000 into one. So you can see that this is my training output direct uh, vector and this is my test output vector. So, and each individual input vector of is of dimension 28 into 28 so you can think of that we have 60000 images for the training purpose and each image has a size of 28 into 28 so and uh, if i show you uh, such one of the those images from this data set so uh, here you can see that uh, from x train one at the image at one index so it is giving me a handwritten of zero so if i show you um explain zero so you can think of this this as a five image you can see this is a five and the same way if i see the y train respective value so it should print me five so you you can think that this my x train is basically my x train zero is my handwritten digit image of five and now uh, my output uh, variable is also five. So this way we have uh, many images and we have one output vector which has dimension of 60,000 into one. So now, since we have already cleaned data, now we are just going to do one basic thing before creating our model. So uh, each, each value inside this X train or X test has pixel values from zero to 255. So, before proceeding what we are going to do we are going to normalize it and when we have to normalize uh, the pixel values we just divide them by 255 what will happen after dividing the pixel value divide by 255 all the values will come in the range of 0 to 1 so if i show you here so if i show you my x train zero so you can see, see here are many values which are like from zero to 255 and what will happen after uh, we will divide it by 255 so the all the values will come in the range of zero to one and this is uh, a good practice uh, to bring all the values on the same scale because this with this uh, with this technique our model will do uh, better prediction and will train itself in a better way so now if i see here x train zero the same same value for the same image 
you can see that all the values are now converted from uh, two, 0 to 255 to the range of 0 to 1. So every value is under 0 to 1. Now coming to the uh, model part, very first of all, using the sequential, since we are going to create a sequential model means that we will be having a sequence of different layers. So we have created an object of sequ sequential class. <clears throat> And then we are going to add convolution neural network layer. So uh, here we are adding convolution layer and uh, ReLU as an activation function. And this is my input shape. So when we need to add convolution layer, we need to pass these parameters. And the same way that we after that, we are adding the pooling layer, pooling layer. And after again, then we are adding one, uh, we can add one more layer of convolution neural network plus activation function, which is this one. And then we can add one more pooling layer. But here we are directly using uh, flatten. Flatten, what uh, actually flatten does, flatten will basically uh, flatten all of the values into a single uh, one dimensional array. Then uh, at the last, we are adding uh, an activation function, add, adding the dense layer of uh, 100. And then we are creating one output layer with 10 values because our values can range from 0 to 9. So after this, and we are using activation function as softmax so very variable. So basically here we are creating a classification model. So that's why we are using softmax as a uh, activation function in the last layer. And then we are just compiling our model with passing uh, with this is my loss function and this is my optimizer and matrices I am going to focus on the accuracy matrix. And then I'm just fitting doing the training for 10 epochs. So it is going to take some time. So now my training has started and you can see that uh, the accuracy training accuracy is around 95%. Let it complete. So now my model training is completed and you can see that the training accuracy I have achieved 99% which is really a great accuracy and after that we can evaluate our model using model.evaluate function and we can pass the x test and y test. It will give me the, it will evaluate my model and it will tell me that what is the accuracy that we are getting. So uh, for the test data, we are getting 98% accuracy and for the training data, we are getting 99% accuracy, which is a really a great one. And then, so now we can draw our uh, confusion matrix here and with this model dot predict method, we can pass the X test value. It will give me the Y predicted value and fair uh, and then on those predicted value, what I am just getting is uh, because this predicted value, why predicted will be containing the, you know, probability score of E for each digit. And so from here, we are just uh, getting the maximum out of those probability score because that probability score will tell us what is the correct number. So I am getting the Y predicted labels and then I'm just creating a confusion matrix and then I'm just drawing it using this uh sns library so here you can see that now this library has been uh this confusion matrix has been plotted and here you can see that on the uh, y-axis this is my truth and on the x-axis this is my predicted value values which are on the diagonal these are the my correct predictions and other than these uh, well other than these values have values everywhere these are my incorrect predictions. So if I tell you for one example, let's say uh, and this predicted value. So for uh, this case, for this particular case, uh, my predicted value was one, but in actual it was nine. So there, there must be some image where uh, the actual image is of digit nine, but our model predicted it as one. And this instance has occurred two times. So this way we can read our confusion matrix as well. And so that's all for this video guys. And uh, please subscribe the channel and code for this um, video will be uh, code for this video will be hosted on my GitHub page and I will share the link of GitHub into the description of this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.